So we're just heading to Ornby Island for a week. Uh, this is going to be... Okay, go. I'm trying to be normal. Gares, you can laugh, but the one thing you want. On the cider. Yeah, hot. Something we do every year, we go for a full week, family tradition on Meg's side. This place has it all. People refer to it as the Hawaii of Vancouver Island. The beaches here are incredible. The tropicalness look of it creates such, I don't know, it looks incredible. Time to travel for three hours. Boom. So we've just gotten to Cabela's and over the last couple years we when we go camping we figured out that the tent that we have is quite small but we've made it work but this year we said screw it we're getting a bigger tent so we're at Cabela's so we just made it to Hornby Island ferry you have to get on the ferry from Buckley Bay to Denman Island then Denman Island to Hornby Island Okay so off of the Denman ferry we're on Denman Island now we're just driving along to get to the Hornby. It only takes, the ferry only takes about 20 cars. You know, if there's 60 cars there, you're looking at a three sailing wait. Luckily, it's only a 10 minute ferry ride, but I mean, in total, you're waiting like half hour minimum. Update, we did not end up waiting an hour and a half. We somehow lucked out and we waited about five minutes. Previous years, we've waited up to like three hours. All right, all right. All... Matthew McConaughey in the house. We just got off the Hornbier Island Ferry, headed to our destination, Brad's Dad's Land, right along the beach. I mean, anywhere you stay on Hornby Island is basically going to be on the water because it's such a small island. So we're slowly building the campsite. This place is phenomenal. It's a little humid today, but that's okay. We're gonna be sitting down enjoying some drinks. So pretty much for the end of the day today, we're gonna sign off and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Sun's up, coffee's being made. I had a shower. We are gonna be going to the beach today. We're going to Big Tribune Beach. They got Little Tribune right beside us. It's actually a nudie beach so if you want to go there you'll see some nudie people breakfast is coming up here soon excited to get some coffee much needed coffee so today you guys we are heading to big tribune <laughs> it's a beach that is the most well-known beach on hornby island and it's paradise you know what instead of me telling you why don't we show you here you go <laughs> If you've never been to Tribune Beach on Hornby Island, this place has a lot of landscape in regards to like the sand. It's a pretty busy beach, so you want to get here earlier in the morning, but there's a lot of real estate, as you can see all around me, that shows, you know, it's busy here, but there's still a lot of people that can go anywhere they want. The right side is where if you have a dog, you got to go to the right side. The left side is more of just like if you're just yourselves, but the water goes out so far and you can go really far in the water and it's not that deep. So after Tribune Bay, we headed to Hornby Island Brewing and got to taste some amazing craft beers here with some friends and family that I dearly love. It was a great way to sort of end that little beach excursion. So we finished off for the day at the beach and next thing we're heading to is Fossil Beach. This place is immaculate. It's got pizzas, it's got drinks, it's got music. Can't wait to show you guys what that looks like as well. The weather today was, it was warm. Got in the water a little bit, uh, played with the dog. I can't complain. Just had a nice tasting as you saw from the Hornby Island Brewery. Okay, so next stop, Fossil Beach Farm. We, we're gonna have some cider. I won't, cause I don't drink, but everybody else will. I'm the TD as always. Go Lily, go! <laughs> Yeah, we're on the dusty, dusty old trail. I'm about to get a veggie burger. Klaus, what do you have to say for yourself? You know why I love Hornby Island? Because of places like Fossil Beach. There is nothing like spending time with family, drinking booze, 
and just enjoying yourself and the nature around you. One thing you'll find about Hornby Island is that it's just got the best scenery all over it. And the accompaniment is great as well. So we ordered the beef burgers, salmon burgers. Megan, being the vegan that she is, ordered the veggie pate. They've got flights of cider here. This place is incredible. Okay. Yeah, Gordon. <laughs> oh yeah. What did we get? We got some, that's a beef burger, some bananas. Ooh. And some, what the heck is that? My... What they missed? Oh, potatoes? What are you potatoes? potatoes? So we're just here enjoying ourselves. Apologies for the music. Having a cider, chilling, the sun. We got the dog. We got the dog and we have an amazing view of a band in front of us playing. Great way to enjoy a good time on Hornby Island. So that ends the night. We've had a great day here at day number two time to start the fire and make some s'mores. Grabbing s'mores? Yeah, I think so. Grabbing s'mores. Good night, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It's the start of day three. We're going to be going to do a hike this morning. Just going to have some breakfast. So I need breakfast. I'm so freaking hungry. So we're off to Ford's Cove. It's a great little place to go. The rocks look so cool. This place is a great little hike to do. It doesn't take too long. Definitely wear normal shoes, like hiking shoes, because there can be slippery rocks. And if you got pets, maybe leave them behind at the campsite or wherever you're staying, because there are a couple like rock cliffs, but we're super excited to go. We are here at Ford's Cove. And like I had mentioned, the rocks here are formed over a period of you know thousands or millions of years the views that you get to see and just the formations of the rock themselves are so flipping cool it is definitely a windy one that's why i've got my towel over me because it's a bit cold because once you get close to the ocean it windy. this place goes pretty far um it's literally along the water the whole way but uh, yes, hello, you big raven. That's one of the things, not crows that they have here, big, big raven. <laughs> well, I was so tired after that. We had lunch, great sandwiches. Now we are now off to Whaling Station, another one of the beaches that you can go to. It's a little more windy on this side, Clouds have started to come over a bit. A little upsetting, but that's just what it is. Can't control what Mother Nature does. So hopefully when we get there, the weather is better. The sun comes out and we have a great time at this place. For the size of how big Hornby Island actually is, this beach is, I want to say, a decent size considering the relative size of Hornby Island. Like, if you can see, like, it goes pretty far all the way around at a 360 degree radius and it's big but the clouds have come in today and it's just like ugh, like go away clouds the weather actually got a lot better and then we ended up swimming reading some books playing with the sea life and heading back to the campsite so now that we're just sort of chilling here the next thing we're going to be doing is we are going to isla de la rena vineyard uh, we've ordered pizzas for the night and then we're going to enjoy some wine it's going to be great. Meg's reading her book. Yeah, quite peaceful. What book are you reading? Um, it's called Too Late by Colleen Hoover. Highly recommend if you like Colleen Hoover. It's a nice, easy read. It's a little bit different from all her other books that she did it. She started writing it in 2012, and she'll only just finished it in the past couple years. So it's been a work in progress, but it is a piece of art. And then we got, and then we got Gord. He's spying on the ocean. The mountain. There's a little bit of snow across the ocean <laughs> looking towards Vancouver Island in the mountaintops. Just a little bit. But 
And then we got Bailey. So the next time uh, we will be enjoying a glass of wine, cheersing instead of cheersing a phone. Okay, so change of plans. We went to the winery, didn't realize that they're open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with live music. So we still got our pizzas that we're getting at this incredible pizza shop, as you can see. But we're going to find a different area. We're going to go get a couple bottles of wine, go find a great place and just enjoy each other's company tonight. But I was excited to show you the vineyard tonight, but we're still here for another four days. So you'll definitely be getting uh, a tour of the place, the music, the enjoyment of sipping on a wine in a vineyard with music. You can't go wrong. Just got the pizzas. Look good. They do look good. But they need Phil, this, I was just checking with the salt pickup. So third time's the charm. We're heading back to get wine from uh, the campsite because all of Hornby Highland is closed on a Monday night. Then we're gonna go to the pier and enjoy wine there. The nice thing about where we're going now is it's like a four minute walk down the road. It's actually a really nice spot to go sit at and just enjoy the sunset. We're finally here at the pier. It's so beautiful. The night tonight could not have ended any better with the sunset, the way the clouds, everything looks behind us, the water. It's just a great way to end a night here on Hornby Island with friends and family. A beverage or two of choice, some music in the background, and the view. So that's where we're gonna end it for the night here. Great day spent. So many activities that we got to do. I'm gonna go spend time with the family. Enjoy this beautiful sunset. We'll see you guys in the morning. So we're starting the day like we always do. A cup of coffee with the family and just relaxing. Ryan and Claudia are leaving today, so it's just gonna be the four of us for the next couple days. I had a little sunburn actually yesterday, so I'm gonna have to nurse that a bit too. Every morning, I don't work out when we're camping, but Megan does. I do work out. I do a combination of different things. It's just push-ups, squats, jumping jacks, burpees, you name it. I'm gonna do it. This here is called the Golden Color Cock. It looks so flippin' good. Okay, so we're starting the day off. Breakfast done, early lunch. We're heading back to the beach today. Tribune Bay Beach. It's just gonna be another great day. So we're doing round two, Tribune Beach today. I burned myself yesterday, so, you know, stupid me not wearing any um, proper sunscreen. So wearing pretty much a whole bottle today. So hopefully that keeps me a little bit more less burned. Pretty much, this is like being in Hawaii. Something about just sitting on a beach is so nice, especially with the warm weather. You have the umbrella because you don't want to get burned, at least to a crisp right away, but my feet are definitely cooking right now. But it's busy today. Like there's quite a lot of people here. We're staying home tonight, at well, home being the campsite. We're gonna enjoy some burgers and stuff. Ryan and Claudia are actually going home and then the next people to arrive with us will be on Friday. We get to hang out with them for one night. It's only Tuesday right now. We got the whole rest of the week to enjoy paradise. <laughs> The one thing though, you gotta be careful, like there are some slippery rocks here. And when you're in sandals, holding a camera, <laughs> you're playing dicey games. But, you know the old saying, if you don't record it, did it really happen? Whoa. Well, that's, that's risky. We're not gonna do that. I gotta put the phone away. So the night's coming to an end. It's just the four of us now for the next few days. I'm gonna call it the end of the night now. 
just enjoy ourselves. We're about to have some dinner, some burgers, and just enjoy the beautiful sunset that we're enjoying tonight. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, here we are. We are on day, I don't even remember what day we're on. We are going to Whaling Station. Well, actually, no, we were gonna go, but instead, Karen and Gord and Meg are going for a walk. Me and Bailey are hanging out, and then we're gonna go to the meadery. We'll get some mead, you know, what we drank back in the 1500s, but there's a market. So the market should be quite entertaining to go to. Had some coffee. I'm just relaxing right now. And then Megan's coming back. Yeah, I've got a brush mate. You gotta do some flossing, cause you know, just because you're camping, you can't forget to brush your damn teeth. So everybody's gone right now. It's just me and Bubs. Hey Bills. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. You can make it if you don't even think about it. Gets all she gets all up in arms when a dog comes around. Hopefully this is a good angle that you guys are seeing right now. Anyways, as I was saying, um, Bailey and I are just hanging out for the day. And then later on in the afternoon, we'll go have some fun. Today is like, I think the first sort of chill day. We're not gonna do much, just gonna like, we recognize that when you're camping, you're outside literally 24 seven. You go in your tent, you're still technically outside. You got this little flimsy barrier, but you're outside which is not bad. You get vitamin D, you sort of get removed from <clears throat> the world in a sense, which is great, especially when you come to an island. It's not a big island, but it's still an island regardless. Everyone's sort of up and at them. It's around 11 in the morning now. People are just enjoying their coffees. Okay, well, I'm hungry, so I didn't really eat a lot for breakfast, but I just want something like, Something to, to munch on, but I'm not really sure what. There's chocolate, there's blueberries, cheese, yogurt, condiments, mayonnaise, lettuce, grapes, bananas, protein bars. We'll go to the other container. Well, there's beer. I think it's too early for beer. Not much in here. Oh, we got salad. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with. I went for a protein bar. Easy, simple, and tastes like a Reese's Pieces. Update, it's been about an hour. I haven't moved, Bailey hasn't moved. I wonder how Meg's doing on her hike. Okay, so we are here today, hiking to Ford's Cove with mother and father. Wonder if she's having a good time. She's probably having a great time right now. Miss Vada, what do you have to say for yourself for the hike? It's a good one. <laughs> Putting on a little sweat. Well, we're having a better time though. This way. <laughs> Can't wait to eat food. I'm st Starving. I'm excited to go to the market. They have a bunch of good food there. I'm excited to go to the Froggery. That place, mm, I'm excited. Time for sandwiches. We are now here at the market. Uh, the nice thing about the market is it's in a forest. It's almost two o'clock right now, so we're here at sort of the end of the day. This place has it all. There's so many little trinkets that you can buy, food, etc., etc. So the market's been going on for like, many many years i couldn't tell you how many but every wednesday and every saturday it's on from 10 30 to 1 30. but now we're going to like one of my most favorite places we are going to the froggery it's a vodka distillery the guy that's built it over this time has done a phenomenal job with his property but just showing you how it's made all of the vodkas taste incredible i'm excited to show you guys There's so many good vodkas to decide what you want from. Raspberry, elderberry, vanilla, black bean, jelly bean. It's enjoyable. Do some tastings. Also, they're open Wednesdays and Saturdays, 12 to 3 p.m. My favorite place the distillery because there are no I like to drink. JK, I drink H2O. So next stop is the Middle Mead Winery. Once you get up there, the view is so nice and they've got a nice deck that you can sit on and do some tastings. It's quite a beautiful place just to go and sit, even if you're not buying anything, just to experience the nice atmosphere. So we're here at the Middle Mountain Meat Place. And like I said, there is a place where you can above behind me, 
You can do tastings. You get to see the view of other trees in the water in front of you. So this is the top part where you get beautiful view. Sitting here, relaxing. Wow, so nice up here. I tell you what. I got the mead of inspiration to take with me. It was like a cranberry style, nice and airy. Something you have on a summer's day when you just like half a glass and you're just looking to sort of chill out a bit, but really good. Oh my God, I don't have my hat. Before I just saw myself in the mirror and I was like, so we're driving along the road, going to Sunset Beach. We come across the world's biggest Campbell's soup can. Look at this thing. This is the biggest soup can ever. Got soup? Instead of got milk, got soup? Because we got a whole can of it. One of the things here is the vast variety of beaches that you don't really know about until sort of you drive to them. I feel lazy. <laughs> the sun really takes it out of you. We went on a hike this morning but now I'm just like, wow, I could have a nap. However, I think I'm gonna go jump off of the pier and get a little shock therapy from that ocean because I need to wake up. It's my bold day, but refreshing. Oh, okay, okay. We got a naked person. This is not a nude boot, but there is a naked person on the beach. Technically that is illegal. Am I gonna be the one to call the cops? No. Do I care? No. It's just really, really awkward. So how was it? At first it was freezing, but then after a minute, you're used to it Revol and you're refreshed. Satisfying. Exactly. Revolting, but satisfying. Now we're heading up to La Vera de Nevera Vineyard. They have music tonight. The other night we messed up, we didn't get there. It was just a whole debacle that night, actually. There was pizza that didn't happen properly. We didn't, couldn't pay for it. We went to go get wine at the co-op. That sucked. And then we couldn't do anything because it was our mistake. We went to the vineyard, no music. We went to the co-op, they were closed. Couldn't get uh, wine there. Then we went to the pizza place and then that was just its own debacle, but that's okay. It got fixed. And, but tonight, Wednesday night, they do have music, 5.30 to 7.30. Now we can enjoy some wine and music. Okay, we're here for round two. It's actually busy here tonight, so that's how we know there's people here, there's music, I can hear the music. We just ate, so our tummies are full, nice and bloated. When the music is playing, no one's gonna hear you tooting up a storm. Boop, boop. Oh look, the restaurant's full too. My baby wrote me a letter. My baby wrote me a letter. I don't know a better way to end the night than to say goodnight to all of you here. Hope you have a great evening and uh, stay healthy, stay good. See y'all in the morning. Okay, good morning, everybody. We are on Thursday morning right now. Oh, I had a great sleep last night. Didn't wake up too much, but the crows are back. This whole week, the crows have not been here, but they come and they start going ka 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 at like 6 a.m. Drives me up the bloody wall. Anyways, we're going to Heliwell today. Heliwell? Is where we're going? Heliwell? Going to Heliwell. Then we're gonna come back, have our cucumber sandwiches because we've been eating those all week. They're great. And then we'll go into the winery that we were at last night, but we'll go there for dinner because we walked past as people were having food. Looked great. They had nice wine, beer, charcuterie board, blah, blah, blah. Looked delicious. And there's live music again. But right now we're just sitting here, we're sort of chilling. Okay, so we're here now at Heliwell Park. We're doing a 5K hike today. You can do a shorter hike if you want, but we're going to do the big long hike. This place is literally like hiking on the sides of a cliff. Looking down into the water, it's such a nice area. It's already pretty busy here, and it's only 11 a.m., but it's getting to close to 30 degrees Celsius here during the day, so. And we have Bailey with us, the dog, so we gotta make sure she's okay, so. Looking forward to this hike. Heliwell Provincial Park. As you can see here on the map, there's multiple different ways that you can go. 
Uh, it ranges from two to five to, I think, well, if you do it twice, it's 10, but it's really, really nice. Love doing this hike every single time we come here. So I'm coming up to some of the really nice cliffs. It's such a nice spot to just chill and relax. And it's just amazing. There's so many like little just cliffs that just, they're like rolling hills, except it's on like a, a mountain. So not a mountain, an island, but it's still, just, it's so nice. Just the formations here, you wonder like, how did these, how did these get here? But a lot of people come here, like around a thousand people is like the normal people here throughout the year. But during tourist season, you can go up to almost 4,000 people on this island. So. It's a lot more foot traffic on this uh, this walk than normal for sure. i tell you one thing though, I'm stupid. I should have brought water. All of that is like two cups of coffee today and I'm feeling parched. Lips are dry. We're done the hike. It, we took a little bit of a shortcut so it was 4.1K but as you guys saw, it was so nice. Now we're going back for cucumber sandwiches. Gotta get some ice water. Might have a beverage because it's 12 o'clock somewhere. Actually, it's past 12 o'clock here. And then we're gonna go to Whaling Station, a beach for the afternoon, and then come home and go for dinner. That's what we've been eating this whole week. Made by Chef Megan, right? Delicious cucumber sandwiches. Uh, uh. Ooh, wait. We're trying to decide if we are gonna go to Whaling Station or go down to the pier or just hang out at the site. I've been here like five days now, so it's like feeling lazy. I feel like I wanna have a nap. I know if I go in the water, I'll wake up. It's a hard decision. Don't know what to do. We'll find out. Okay, so update. I ended up having a nap and then I ended up just being a lazy butt for the last four hours. Nonetheless, a great afternoon. We decided we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow because I just couldn't be arsed to do it today. Yeah, like I said, tonight we're going to the winery. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go have a shower now. I feel a lot better once I shower. We are now at the restaurant at the vineyard. The restaurant itself is called The Table. We've got a reservation for four of us tonight. We have Bailey with us, so she's gonna be able to enjoy time with us. But on the other side, can you eat some time? So we just got all the food. Looks incredible. This is like family style dinners. So you pick your proteins and then you pick your greens, but it looks, wow. So dinner is Thanks. done. You're welcome. Dinner is done. We just finished taking some family photos and now we're gonna head back to the site and enjoy a couple more beverages. I feel like, you know what? I'm apologizing to all of you. I've talked about beverages quite a bit this week to all of you. I do enjoy beverages when I'm on vacation, but during the work week, I'm a good person. I swear. Everybody's laughing at me. Oh, the camera's heavy holding on my hand here. But uh, yeah, we're going back. We're gonna go get the fire pit going. Tomorrow is our last full day. Thank you so much. Delicious food. And then we're gonna go back. We're gonna get some, couple more beverages. And that's gonna be it, end of the night. So while there's still light, I will say goodbye to all of you amazing people watching this. We'll see you for the last day tomorrow. It'll be a beach day and then we got some family coming. I'll introduce you to them and then it'll be over. But for now, that's it. Have a good night. I'll let Meg end it off here. Good night. Oh, nicely. Good night. Two hundred. I don't know how they do that. I just woke up and I'm feeling dead and here they are doing bloody running jumping jack thing. I can't even keep my eyes open. So good for them. They do it every day. Well, Karen does it every day. We got to give her more credit. She said twice, but we'll say six. And uh, Meg does it every day. I'm tired as hell. My eyes are watery, as you can see. I still have my Invisalign in. Got to have straight teeth. 
and I'm gonna make coffee. Woo-wee, that dead bug was hard. Okay, so we did 30 minute workout at the campsite, included squats, lunges, burpees, high knees, butt kicks, and jumping jacks. And then we headed down to the stairs by the cliff and we did about 15 stairs. And here comes mom. And I did it too, but yes. not all of it. Yes. Some of it. Me and mom Most did a it. workout together. Cause we're super thick. Me and Gordon sat here, had coffee. That's what you do when you're rich. That's what you drink coffee and you look at that. That's much better than a workout. That's way better than a workout. So we're here at the place. Looks the bomb, smells the bomb. Couldn't even tell you what I'm gonna get yet, but excited to just eat some food. How did they look? <laughs> Holy crap. That's like about four tacos. No. I'm so full. Like, beyond full, but that was such a good veggie yam burrito. We're not gonna eat for the rest of the day, essentially. But now we're going to the beach. It's a great time here. It's actually a little breezy today on Whaling Station. So it's called Whaling Station because the sun is whaling on us, but at the same time, it's also Windy Station because the sun starts hitting you a little bit. Sorry, the wind hits you a little bit and it can get quite breezy, but today it's not bad. Get to put your sunscreen on because you don't want to feel ill later on in the day. You just don't want it. Just so take it's not that hard. Just plop it on the skin, just get it all up on there, and then you can have a nice day and know that when you go to sleep, you won't be going to sleep with sunstroke. So, another successful day at the beach. Now we're going to meet the people who are at the campsite now with us, who will be saying hi to you for the evening. I'm still so full from that burrito, but. So while we were at the winery, I got one of these, the Pearl Piquette. I just got a big lesson from Christopher about the background of it. If you wanted me to replay what I just learned, I couldn't tell you, but it was, or it, no, it was, it is delicious. The lab. This is a lab. Bailey has a friend finally. What a great week we have had here. I'm so thankful every time we get to come here. Oh, wow, my arm's getting tired. I'm so thankful every time we come here and just spend this time because it's a little piece of paradise that a lot of people don't know about. I think this is the best time to end out the week long vlog with the sunset behind me. It's been a great week with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed our week as much as we have. And we're gonna enjoy the rest of this evening. And as always, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button to turn that bell icon on so that you know when we've posted our latest video. We'll see you guys at the next one. From Hornby Island, have a great night.